Okay, everybody, uh, I'm testing out a new microphone. Okay, so, uh, Bowman Platinum 2022. First time I'm opening this product, Bowman Platinum. And first time I'm opening 2022 Bowman. So, uh, good news. I don't know any players here. Bad news. I don't know any players here. Okay, let's go. Choppy choppy. I like going choppy choppy with this. And I spin it round and round. Wonder why they chose Bobby Witt Jr. instead of Julio Rodriguez on the front. Yay, I opened it. It's open. Hey, ignore the creaking. Ah. Four cards per pack, so we're gonna get like what's eight times four? Thirty two cards. Thirty two cards. Amazing. That's one hundred percent okay. Oh, thought I opened from the other side. Dang. They're going all out with these boxes. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to see my ugly mic set up. Okay. My mic setup isn't okay. But at least it's a mic setup, okay? Some of these people don't even use mics. They just talk really, really loudly. This seems a very... Small pack. What? What's the... I've just never opened a four-card pack before. Autograph for Will Crafters. Holy... Holy smokes. One in 710,336. How can I remember that number? I'm just good at remembering numbers. Don't question. Numbers are really easy to remember for me. I can't open it, so I'm just gonna, like, feel around and go... Bowman's always been a hard product for me to open. Always. I don't know why. Extremely hard. <gasps> Anthony Rizzo's on the back. Let's go. Shohei Otani. Nick Madrigal. Jay Allen. Oh, that's a nice card. Uh, Matthew Nelson, but I like that one more. Is his number? Why is it not numbered? No. It's a beautiful card to not be numbered. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, so you guys still hear me, right? This microphone setup's really hard. Ugh. It's hard to create, okay? Because, like, you, you guys saw it. Uh, Bryce Harper on the back. You, you guys saw it. It's not ugly. It, it's actually ugly. It's the most ugly thing I've ever made. <gasps> oh, 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 out of 299, out of 299, that's a good card. Josh Lowe, what is this? It's out of 299. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't put that right there. 196 out of 299. Good card. Good card. And Bryce Harper making everything go sleepy. Like he does with the ball. I feel like this card, this one's going to have a good card in it. I don't know why. That Josh Lowe's a good card, too. I mean, not the best card. <laughs> it's okay. Paul Goldschmidt on the back. wonder if they'd accept that for the Tops buyback program. Uh, Ellie Harris Montero. Sam Bachman. Uh, Miguel Cabrera. Miggy, not numbered. Sad. Um, still a good card. I, I would say it's a good card, but... Not the best of best cards in this. We're only getting like one prospect a pack. But Helio Ramos and Paul Goldschmidt. Okay. Next one. Woohoo. I've seen this get opened. Never opened it though. It's first time. First timer. First timer on this. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Got it. Don't worry, guys. Got that. Mm. Salvador Perez. Ooh, Marcelo Meyer. Oh, oh, I've never gotten one of these. That looks really cool. Zach Veen. Drafted in 2020. Uh, ninth overall pick. Eh, not that bad. I'll put that in the good card pile. 
<laughs> I know it's not like the best of best cards. And a Marcus Simeon at the back. It's not the best of best best cards. But I'm um, like, it's still a pretty good card for me. Because I've never gotten one of them, okay, guys? I, I've never opened Bowman Platinum before. I'm a first timer. I've said it like five times. Don't bully me in the comments, okay? Please don't. Okay. Matt Chapman, Nick Plummer, Blaze Jordan, and we are adding the Gavin Williams. Unnumbered Gavin Williams to the good card pile stack. And Christian Yelich. Okay. So, this pack feels slightly less like a pack. I might only have four cards in it. Might have five. Because some of them have five for some reason. And I'm, um... Skeptical of the ones that. Oh, Bobby Wood Jr. on the back. Bobby Wood Jr. on the back. That's a number 51 in the set. Mackenzie Gore. Trevor Black. Oh. Renowned rookie, Spencer Torkelson. Not numbered, but Bobby Wood Jr. and Spencer Torkelson. Even though Torkelson didn't have the best of year in 2022, it's a good card, I would suppose. It's, it's what I suppose is a good card. And I think Bobby Wood Jr. is kind of honestly better than Julio Rodriguez. Because, like, Julio Rodriguez, he won Rookie of the Year, right? Good. Good for him. Yeah, he won Rookie of the Year. Guess who didn't? Bobby Wood Jr. Guess whose cards are probably going to... Uh, uh, Nolan Arenado, Nick Lodolo. Heard that name a few times. Uh, Stephen Kwan. And Jonathan India. Okay, back to the statement I'm saying that Bobby Wood Jr. is much better than what? Who? who Julio Rodriguez. Saying this because, well, just saying that because, uh, God, this is so hard to open. It's like it doesn't want me to open it. I'm saying that because Bobby Wood Jr. I feel like is underrated. Luis Robert on the back, but we got another cool card in the middle. I'm not sure. Might be another one of those. Uh, one of the ones that looks like that. Josh Lowe. Okay. So, Corey Seager, Elijah Tatis. The Sox not making another bad decision. They're not making another bad one, okay? They, they can't. I mean, at this point, they've already given up Fernando Tatis when he was a rookie. Well, before he was a rookie. And Carlos... What? Colmenares on the Rays and Luis Robert. So, uh, let's just go through all the good cards again. Uh, Nick Lodolo, Bobby Witt Jr., Renowned Rookies, Spencer Torkelson, which if you look really hard, you can see the rookie card logo right there. It's really hard to see, though. Uh, Gavin Williams. Zach Bean. I don't even know what that is. Miguel Cabrera. Uh, this Josh Lowe, which might be the best card of the box. Uh, Matthew Nelson and Anthony Rizzo. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Like and subscribe, too.